This is the solution to written homework 57. And it says divide this polynomial by that polynomial. So the uh, divisor, x squared plus 2x plus 3 is a quadratic. It's degree 2. And that means that we have to use long division and not uh, synthetic division. So we have, uh, let's, let's move over just a little bit. <clears throat> we have x squared plus 2x plus 3 is outside the house. And 7x to 5 minus 4x uh, minus 0x to 4, because there's 0 of them. So plus 0x to 4 minus 4x to 3 plus. 2x to 2 plus 5x minus 9. Okay, so that's the problem. So what we need to do is we need to consider the leading terms inside and outside. So those are the leading terms. And to compute <coughs> the first round of division, We'll take these terms over here and compute the quotient. 7x to 5 over x squared, so 7x to 5 over x squared. Well, that is 7x to 3. 7x to 3. So we're going to take that <coughs> partial quotient we're going to bring it to the top. Seven x to three. And then we're going to take this seven x to three. We're going to multiply it by the divisor. X squared plus two x plus three. And we're going to take that and we're going to write it underneath the current dividend and subtract that much. So that'd be minus 7x to 5 plus 2x plus 3 can tell that I probably did this step correctly because the leading terms will cancel. So there's no more x to 5 and this would be negative 14 x to 4 and then negative 4 minus 21 is negative 25 x to 3 plus 2 x squared plus 5 x minus 9. So the first round of long division is complete. <clears throat> Take the leading term. And then we'll come over to the side, perform this computation of the quotient. So that'll be negative 14 x to 4, and then divide by x squared. Well, that's negative 14 x squared. <clears throat> this partial quotient goes to the top. So minus 14 x squared. And now this negative 14x squared multiplies by the dividend. So negative 14x squared 
multiplied by x squared plus 2x plus 3. This gets written uh, multiplied by the divisor. This part, this thing is the dividend. This gets written under the current dividend. So negative 14x squared, we're going to subtract this much. And then negative uh, 28x cubed. And then minus 42x squared. Again, the leading terms will cancel. So negative 14 minus negative 14, those cancel. Negative 25 minus negative 28, so that's plus 28, so that's 3x cubed. And then 2 minus negative 42, so plus 44x squared. And then carry down, plus 5x minus 9. Now we take these leading terms, so here's a leading term. And just like the previous ones, we're going to carry this over. <clears throat> so the quotient of this one and that one. So 3x cubed, and then divide by x squared. That's 3x. So now we're going to take this partial quotient, 3x, to the top. Okay, so then now this 3x multiplies by the divisor. So 3x multiplied by x squared plus 2x plus 3. This gets written under the current dividend and subtracted, so minus, that'd be 3x cubed uh, plus 6x squared plus 9x. So the cubes cancel, and then we have 38 x squared uh, minus 4x and then carry down the 9 so minus 9 now this one <clears throat> okay and we're going to carry it over here for some work be 38 x squared divided by x squared. That'd be 38. So now we're going to take this partial quotient to the top. And then we're going to take this and multiply it by the divisor. So 38 multiplied by x squared plus 2x plus 3. I'm going to write this under the current dividend and subtract. So that'd be 38 uh, x squared and then <clears throat> plus uh, 76. x, 76, yeah, x, and then plus uh, 120 minus 6, <clears throat> so that'd be 114. Okay, I can tell I probably did that step correctly because there's going to be no more squares. So this would be minus 80x. <clears throat> and then 
9 minus negative 114, that would be minus 123. So for the exercise above, for the exercise above, the quotient is this thing on the top, 7x cubed minus 14x squared plus 3x plus 38, and the remainder is this bit, negative 80x minus 123. Now you might ask, how did I know that we were supposed to stop here? And the answer is that this, what we have here is a polynomial of degree 1, and the divisor is a polynomial of degree 2, and because uh, what remains of the dividend is, is of lesser degree than this one, that means that it's time to stop. Okay, so now this question, in comparison to the previous one, in comparison to part A, is far easier because we're dividing this polynomial by another polynomial of degree 1, and that polynomial of degree 1 is monic. So that means that we can use Horner's scheme, which is also called synthetic division. So in this case, we write negative 5 here, because that's x plus 5, so we're negative 5 right there, and then the coefficients here. So that'd be 1, 5, negative 3, negative 13, and 10. Okay, so 1, negative 5, 0, 0, negative 3, 15, 2, negative 10, 0. <clears throat> so that's telling us that this represents the quotient, and this, the remainder. So we can say. that the quotient is 1x cubed plus 0x squared and then minus 3x and then plus 2. And the remainder is <coughs> 0. So this there, and this here, and that's the answer.